Hi everybody, uh, Noel going again here from Grass Tech. Um, it's Monday the 31st of July, um, I'm in the heart of County Tipperary, on the road again looking at a new group of Inca heifers that have just come on the market. These are a unique group of heifers. Um, there's about 100, and, 100 head in total. They're, they're Frisian, stroke British Frisian, with some Holstein through them in the main. There's about 95% of them are, uh, are that, that breeding small few of them with, with some Jersey blood in them, but in the main they're all black and white heifers. Um, what makes this group unique is that they're 100% of what this seller has bred. They're part of a herd sale, a part of a herd dispersal. The main herd was sold last spring. He retained the maiden heifers, put them in calf, and they've just been scanned now, um, and the whole lot, 100% of them, are for sale. That's always a unique opportunity to be able to buy heifers from that sort of situation. Most of the heifers that come available, you know, are they're never going to be a seller's best heifers in terms of what comes on the market. Um, in this instance, they are. They include everything that this seller has has bred. Um, they were born in 2022, served last May and June, now scanned um, and in calf, certified in calf. So I'm on the road today. Um, I'm nearly on the farm now, just up the road here. Um, so we're going to have a quick look at them and we'll report back. Just arrived on the farm where these hundred heifers are for sale and just into the paddock and that's them walking around me. The weather has turned kind of nasty at the moment so they're on the move and we keep moving with them. So again, uh, first impressions are very good. I saw these heifers about six to eight weeks ago um, in the middle of the breeding season and I was really impressed with how, how they looked. And I'm glad to say I'm probably even more impressed now. They've really grown on well. They have very good body condition and you know good shiny coats again, it's always a good sign. Um, so what are the characteristics of these heifers? Practically 100 percent of them are AI sired. Um, and from multi-generational AI sires in the dam's background as well. Um, they're scanned already in calf. We have 72% of them held to AI. And then there's 30 odd percent, just under 30% entering calf to stop pull. Like most spring calving herds, vast majority of them are February calving, lesser numbered in in March, and only a handful of them calving in, um, in April. A quick scan around looking at the heifers themselves. Um, within the group of 100, there's probably five or six of them that are a brown color or a reddish color, red, or red and white color. Again, just indi indicates some, some red Holstein Frisian through them, but also a little bit of Jersey through them. But again, the vast, vast majority of them really strong black and white type heifers. Uh, the herd that they're from, mid lactation live weight of approximately 525 30 kilos, and milk recording of um, just over 500 kilos of solids. These heifers themselves have an EBI average of around the 250. Again, so all of those boxes being ticked, 500 kilos of solids, 250 odd EBI. Uh, for the heifers themselves, vast majority EI sired, early calving, they're ticking all the boxes. But again, just to reiterate, probably the unique thing about this group of heifers is the fact that they're 100% of what the seller has bred himself. They're part of a full herd disperse dispersal. The herd was sold last spring, and now these heifers from that herd are um, offered for sale. It's always a good position to be able to select heifers from a group that is 100% of what the owner bred because you know that they include um, all these good heifers as well. Everything that he has, these best heifers are included here also.